If you've been following this channel, you know that last week I moved most of my belongings to a new apartment, and I did that by bike. Of course, I had to do multiple trips back and forth, and some of them were easier and less challenging than others. In the end, I was able to safely move most of my stuff, but it wasn't all. One week later, I moved the rest, and that includes both of my bikes. So I'm riding the Kona and hauling the Burley Travoy with a box here at the bottom. On top of the box, I have the Brompton, and I'm using these cargo nets to fit both the Brompton and the box and my tea bag here. With all of my stuff now in the new apartment, it was time to organize everything in my bedroom. That includes assembling some of the furniture that was still in their boxes, such as my chair and my dresser, and then organizing the room, reassemble the piano, store my clothes, and finally finding the best place to store the bikes. This is my bedroom, it's pretty much complete right now. I'm still a little bit messy, but all I gotta do now is actually figure out where to put both my bikes. So my Kona and my Brompton. The Brompton is probably gonna be here. Um, but because I don't want it to be rubbing against the carpet, I'm gonna use this cabinet that I received as a birthday gift from two of my best friends here. I believe that if I remove these inner walls, the Brompton is gonna fit in there because of the dimensions, um, and it's gonna look pretty cool. As far as my touring bike goes, this, this one's more problematic. I was thinking of putting it up against that wall so vertical so i can come in my room and just have the bike there to help moving the bikes around the bedroom and to avoid touching the walls with the dirty tires i decided to wrap the wheels in pvc film this would make it easier to experiment with the position of the bike without causing damage or staining the walls or the carpet i could for example experiment with the height i wanted the bike to be at and things like that as for the mounting bracket, I went online and I bought a cheap vertical wall mount for the bike. I chose this one from Delta Cycle and I'm pretty sure it's going to do a decent job. Installing it on the wall included finding a stud, choosing a good height, drilling holes and finally screwing the mount into place. Installation was smooth and easy and I think the result looks pretty awesome. The mount is discreet and this particular model has a rear wheel plate which is something that I was looking for, to keep the wall nice and clean underneath both wheels. With the Kona in place, I started assembling the cabinet for the Brumpton. As expected, with the cabinet properly assembled, I was able to fit the bike inside. Alright, so there we have it, the Kona mounted on the wall and the Brumpton inside of that tiny cabinet. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with this wall mount, I think it looks nice. And I like the fact that it has this rear tray here that prevents the rear wheel from scratching the wall and the Brompton looks so nice inside of this tiny cabinet even though it has like these holes here I'm still gonna figure out what to do with those maybe I'll put like a hook here or something to hide that but you know I can keep stuff on top of it I can put my helmet maybe a bike bag that I used that day and Overall, I'm pretty excited how this room turned out. I have my piano, my desk with where I work, um, and I just need to organize this stuff right here. Now that I'm completely settled in this new place, I promise I won't be making any more videos about this, but I appreciate you coming along. Thanks for helping me move my stuff, settling the new apartment, and you know, sticking around on the channel. If you enjoy this video and you're not yet subscribed, well, I hope you come back one day. For all of you, thank you for watching and see you on the next one.